This is problem 26 in the web work probability homework. What we're looking for are some z values. We're looking for a z naught in this first one so that the probability of all the z's that are less than z naught is 0 0.5091. So here's what we know is that uh, because we're using z things here, then they're talking about a standard normal distribution. That is, it's a normal distribution. It has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. OK, now if all the z's less than our z0 is going to be more than a half, then z0 must be up here somewhere. OK, so right here on the z-axis is my z0. And we're looking for this green area back here. Uh, being equal to uh, 0 0.5091. Okay, now luckily R has some stuff that really helps us here. Let me uh, see if I can find my <laughs> my R. There we are. Uh, so I've been running R here. There's a thing called a Q norm which will find the quantile associated with a particular percent. So there's the command that I'm giving right there. Uh, I'm doing the Q norm of 0 0.0591 with in a distribution whose mean is 0 and whose standard deviation is, is 1. And so that just finds that Z0 where that's the, the probability. OK, now let's look at the next one. Let me change my color so that I can kind of draw everything on this same uh, same graph. Now we're looking for a z naught that uh, is an upper bound and a lower bound. So now I'm looking for another another z naught. I'll put a positive z naught up here, and a negative z naught is an equal distance below that. See, because the mean is zero then a positive z naught and a negative z naught are the same distance away from uh, from the center. Now what we're looking for is that this red area inside of here has to be a 0 0.5146. That means that the area up here and down here, the combination of those two areas, has to be 1 minus that particular amount. And so the amount that's down here will be half of 1 minus that uh, particular amount. Let me just slide this over here so that we can kind of keep track of what we're seeing there. And I'll just do that calculation here in R. I want uh, 1, uh, let me write it like this. I want something divided by 2, and it's going to be a 1 minus a 0 0.5146. Okay, that particular number is that area uh, down down here. Let me just uh, color that area in blue for right now. Okay, so if I've got that red area that I'm interested in plus this. Uh, blue area that we just calculated, which is a 2, 4, 2, 7. And I want to add those two together. So uh, what I'm doing in R at this particular point is just doing an up arrow. That pulls that last calculation that I did up plus the 0 0.514. Six, so that's that area uh, below that upper z naught, below that particular z naught. So the thing that's showing in in R right now is the total of all of this blue area down there, and that's the nice thing about a a Q norm, is it can can tell us the z that goes with that. So I'm just going to do a Q norm of that 0 0.7573 in a mean of 0 and a standard deviation equal to 1. Okay, so 
that's the number that I'm looking for there. We'll just copy that and put it over here. Control V and check our answer. So there's the secret in each of these is to kind of see the picture that's going on, uh, find out what this area is, and from that build the area uh, to the left of the of the Z naught, and then use uh, Q naught. So this one right here is really kind of an easy one because uh, it's going to be a Q norm of one minus. Uh, 0 0.133 that's going to be the probability to the to the left of z see because the probability to the right of z is 0 0.134 so the whole probability has to be equal to 1 so 1 minus that uh, gives me the right amount and we're looking at a, a mean is equal to 0 and the standard deviation equal to 1. Okay, now I, I keep telling you that mean and standard deviation, if you don't put it in, it assumes that the mean is 0 and the standard deviation is equal to 1. So we could do it uh, that way, or we could have done this calculation, and it's just assuming that it's a standard normal distribution. You notice in either of those we're getting exactly the same amount. So we can uh, copy that and uh, put that in there and check our answer. Okay, hope that uh, gets you started. It's a matter of looking at the picture and kind of doing some reasoning in the picture to decide how to finally get the, the Q norm. We're looking for the Z value, so we're looking for the quantile where, while we know the probability. Good luck, everyone.